Mickey and the Roadster Racers Race for the Rigatoni Ribbon Adapted by Sherry Stoner Based on the episode written by Mark Seidenberg Illustrated by Loader Inc. Mickey and his pals are tuning up their daily drivers. They're getting ready to head to Italy for the biggest race of the year. The race for the Rigatoni Ribbon. Mickey revs his engine. This year, I'm going to finish in first place for sure. No way, says Donald. This year, I'm going to win. Gosh, fellers, Goofy says. Doesn't that fancy feller Piston Pietro win every year? Not this year, proclaims Minnie. That rigatoni ribbon will go perfectly with the Italian boots I'm buying at Flucci's when I win. In Rome, Italy, the roadster racers zoom up to the starting line in their daily drivers. Just then, Piston Pietro roars up in his super crusher. You cannot start the race without the winner. Me! Sorry, Pietro, calls Donald. But today's winner is gonna be me. Pietro just laughs. You're quackers, duck! You losers cannot win anything driving those little toy cars. But the daily drivers aren't just ordinary cars. Hey, gang! Mickey calls out. Let's show Pietro what we can do. Botastic idea, says Minnie, pushing a button on her dashboard. The others do the same. And in a flash, the daily drivers transform into super cool roadsters. Pietro can't believe his eyes. Clarabelle Cow holds up the starting flag. On your mark, get set, get moving. The racers zoom off. Mickey is in first place. Donald is in second. Until Pietro zigzags around them and steals the lead. Time for the pizza pie flip and fly, he shouts, pulling a lever. Bon appetito! A back hatch opens and cheesy pizzas shoot out. Mickey swerves to avoid the flying pizzas. Hey, no fair! Who cares about fair, Pietro shouts. I do what it takes to win. But poor Goofy gets pummeled with pizzas, sending his roadster spinning off down the wrong street. Goofy's roadster spins to a stop outside Mama Pasta's Fountain Cafe. And there, sitting in the middle of a fountain of spaghetti sauce, is a giant meatball. Look at the size of that meatball, Goofy says. I gotta get me a taste. He orders a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs with extra pepper. Goofy grabs two forks and sniffs the peppery pasta. Ah-choo! The forks fly out of his hands and hit the giant meatball, sending it rolling down the street. But Goofy is too hungry to notice. He just grabs more forks and digs in. Meanwhile. Minnie and Daisy are catching up to Pietro. Too close for comfort, Pietro says. Time to give him the slip, Italian style. He flips a switch and olive oil shoots out of the exhaust pipe. It splatters across the road, sending Minnie and Daisy flying off the track. When Minnie and Daisy finally screech to a halt, they find themselves in front of the most famous shoe store in Italy. Flucci's! They both squeal as they dash inside for a shopping pit stop. There are only three racers left, but Pietro doesn't want to take any chances. I'll switch these arrows so they follow me into the Colosseum. Then I'll lock them inside. Pietro zooms into the Colosseum. Mickey and Donald follow. My plan is working, Pietro cries. He looks back and sees a giant meatball rolling right behind them. Holy cannoli! Pietro turns around and races back through the gate, slamming it shut behind him. Mickey and Donald are trapped inside, and the giant meatball is about to flatten them. Suddenly, Mickey spots a huge chunk of rock ahead that looks just like a ramp. Donald, he calls. Follow my lead. 
He roars up the ramp with Donald right behind him. It works! They soar up and over the Coliseum wall, but so does the giant meatball. Mickey and Donald's roadsters rocket over Pietro and land in front of him. Mickey takes the lead once again, but Donald is determined to win. He slams down on his gas pedal, leaving Pietro behind in a thick cloud of dust. Piston Pietro is furious. But this race is far from over. Minnie and Daisy are back on course after their little shopping detour, and with a belly full of spaghetti and meatballs, Goofy is full speed ahead, too. Goofy rounds a corner and sees Piston Pietro heading straight for him. Uh-oh, he shouts. Just then, the giant meatball bounces onto the racetrack. Pietro and Goofy slam on their brakes, but it's too late. They crash right into the meatball. Mickey races toward the finish line just ahead of Donald. Hot diggity, he cheers. Nothing can stop me from winning now. Mickey looks behind him to see Goofy, Pietro, and the giant meatball, and they're headed straight for Donald. Holy macaroni, he shouts. Mickey throws his hot dog and hot rod into reverse and roars backward, sending Pietro, Goofy, and the giant meatball flying. Forget about me, Mickey calls to Donald. Go win the race! Donald puts the pedal to the metal and zooms across the finish line. I did it, he cries victoriously. I beat Piston Pietro! Clarabelle presents Donald with the rigatoni ribbon. Donald turns to Mickey. Sorry you didn't win, pal. Friendship is a lot more important to me than winning, Mickey says with a grin. Just then, Goofy and Pietro come flying in on the giant meatball. The meatball crashes into a statue, sending hundreds of tiny meatballs raining down on everybody's plate of pasta. Garsh, says Goofy hungrily. Looks like we're all winners today.